story to tell. Terawa, the amphibious ashore ship class built in the 1970s, finally had a successor, the America class. Eleven new amphibious ashore ships were planned, with two completed and one under construction. The lead ship is USS America LH-86, commissioned on October 11, 2014. The America class is designed to put ashore a marine expeditionary unit using helicopters and MV-22B Osprey transport aircraft, supported by AV-8B Harrier II or F-35 Lightning II aircraft and various attack helicopters. The new amphibious ashore ships will ensure America's global presence now and in the future, meeting most mission needs despite China's powerful rise. America was built on the design of the USS Marking Island, the last ship of the Wolf's class. The America class is designed to optimize new aviation assets such as the F-35B and upgraded Osprey helicopters. The ship has a further displacement of about 45,000 tons, a length of 257 meters and a beam of 32 meters. Similar in size to the fixed-wing aircraft carrier Charles de Gaulle of the France and Vikramaditya of India, the U.S. America and her sisters can be used as a light aircraft carrier with a squadron of jet fighters, plus several multi-purpose helicopters such as the MH-60 Seahawk. They can carry about 20 to 25 AV-8B, F-35Bs, or the mixture of the two. With a philosophy optimized for aviation and to not support amphibious assurance by sea, there are no well deck on the first two America-class ships. Marines are airlifted by helicopter, which allows troops to move much faster and farther than the old method. In addition, ships are also better protected by conducting attacks from a distance. Future ships of this class are currently planned to have a well deck, similar to that of the Wolf's class but will have smaller hangars to make room for amphibious vehicles. The America-class amphibious Saturn ships are powered with a hybrid electric propulsion system, including two gas turbines, two SAS, with 70,000 brake horsepower total and two 5,000 horsepower auxiliary propulsion engines. The ship can reach a top speed of over 20 knots. Aboard is a crew of 1,060 with a contingent of 1,690 marines possible. Defensive weapons on board are two rolling airframe missile launchers, two Evil Sea Sparrow missile launchers, two phalanx closing weapon systems, and seven dual 12.7mm caliber machine guns. The vessel is outfitted with the ANSBQ-9B surface search 
and Fire Control Radar, ANSPS-48E 3D Air Search Radar, and ANSPS-49 2D Air Search Radar, and the ANSPM-43C Air Traffic Control Radar. Electronic warfare is handled by the ANSLQ-32B and two Mark 53 Nuclear Decoy Launchers. Part of the intention for the ship is to properly configure the platform to launch and operate the Marine Corps F-35B. Specifically, Navy engineers added special coating materials to the ship's deck in order to mitigate any possible heat damage caused by the vertical takeoff and landing F-35B. Structural elements of the ship were also modified to ensure the vessel could fully and properly accommodate the F-35. Currently, a third U.S. amphibious assurance ship is under construction, the Bougainville LHA-8. It will return with a well deck for a traditional amphibious assurance. The USS America and USS Tripoli have particular aviation-centric adjustments, such as an enlarged hangar deck, realignment of maintenance facilities, increased storage, and greater fuel capacity, a Navy report said. With the new generation amphibious assurance ships, the U.S. Navy amphibious assurance strategy in the future will have major changes, focusing on aviation power and unprecedented intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance technology of star fighters. My video about the America class amphibious assurance ship answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.